what began as a russian threat against ukraine has now engulfed the entirety of europe in crisis last week's claim by the kremlin that they would de-escalate tensions by withdrawing forces from the ukrainian border turned out to be false western warnings that severe sanctions would be imposed if russia once again invaded ukraine went ignored by the kremlin russia's proxy regimes in control of donetsk and luhansk engaged in a false flag operation over the weekend in which they released videos purporting to show russians under attack by Ukrainian forces. The international monitoring mission along the contact line proved this to be false. Equally so, scientists have analyzed the metadata within the videos and have proven that they were created days in advance of the supposed events. Regardless, Russia's parliament, the Rada, asked Vladimir Putin to formally recognize Luhansk and Donetsk, which he did. Oddly enough, he used the very same instrument that Russia used in 2008 to recognize the supposed breakaway publics in Georgia, simply changing the name from Abkhazia to Luhansk and Siknavali region to Donetsk. The absurdity of Russia now claiming that the forces they are pouring into Luhansk and Donetsk are peacekeeping forces is clear for the world to see. UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez called Russia's conduct threatening and dangerous for the future of legitimate peacekeeping. Sanctions have now been imposed by the West, targeting oligarchs and Russian banks, but they are unlikely to have much of an effect. Although they will deeply hurt the Russian economy, Russia repatriated over $5 billion in December in advance of this operation to shore up their short-term cash needs. More so, these are the same kind of sanctions that were imposed in 2014 that have had little, if any, effect on deterring Russia from further aggression. Ukraine is now calling its country to the highest level of alert possible. These are dark days. Russia's actions are essentially a declaration of war against Ukraine. The navel gazing as how we got here and our dependence on oil, which will keep us buying Russian gas fossil fuels and oil, despite their invasion of Ukraine, has reached the heights of hypocrisy. Europe is in trouble. Ukraine's existence is being threatened. And we now must wait for Putin to make his next move. I'm Michal O'Hurley with Diplomacy in Ireland, the European diplomat, reporting for Euro World News.